Yeah, the heavy rain has now made its way through Marion County. It's pushing through Hamilton County currently as it makes its way further to the north. Here's a live look at Trueview Radar. And this is just some good old fashioned rain that's coming down. And it has weakened just a little bit as it makes its way to the north. It's not as quite as impressive of the rainfall as it was earlier in the morning as it made its way through the metro area. Uh, north of Noblesville now through Cicero up to Arcadia. Some pockets of heavy rain over towards Lapel as you work your way into Madison County. And as you continue your way to the north from Frank over towards Alexandria to Summitville. We're dealing with some pockets of moderate rain. Uh, some of the heaviest rain we have right now is a lone isolated storm that's just to the east of Martinsville. You notice it's just also to the south and east of State Road 37. So if you're on 37, you're okay right now. Uh, but this will continue to push to the north. Uh, again, no lightning getting picked up on Truby Radar. And this lone little shower just went through downtown Bloomington and is pushing off over towards the Lake Lemon area. And eventually that one will start to weaken. And as we go throughout the day, today. Essentially, it's going to be very similar to yesterday in the sense that we have scattered showers off and on throughout the entire day. A few of these showers may be heavier than others, producing some locally heavy rainfall, but we are not expecting any severe weather. And the bigger picture just shows the counterclockwise rotation of this area of low pressure that's on top of us. So periods of rain off and on throughout the day today. A few isolated storms will be possible. Do not be surprised if you do hear a rumble of thunder. And the good news is today is the last day that we are going to be dealing with this rain as the sunshine that is set to return on Thursday and it's going to set us up for a very very nice stretch of weather heading into the weekend on Truecast again you can use the shot uh, the picture here to kind of plan out your day and you notice by nine o'clock it's just some spotty showers maybe a few heavier showers start to pop up in the daytime heating throughout the afternoon hours but again the coverage is pretty spotty no matter where you go and then as we head towards the six seven eight o'clock hour that's when the showers finally start to move off towards the east and as far as potential rainfall Again, it will be very spotty, but there's none of the question that we could see anywhere from a half an inch to one inch of rain, especially south of Indianapolis. The rainfall totals look to be a little less as you work your way to the north. Now for tomorrow, it turns out to be a decent day. A little cloud cover to start. It turns partly cloudy and then some showers come in very late tomorrow after sunset and they'll continue into the early morning hours on Friday. But again, the timing of those showers will be pretty good falling during the overnight hours. Temperatures right now at 60. 64 in Indianapolis, 67 in Bloomington. Everybody's in the 50s and 60s across the immediate area. So throughout the course of the day today, we will see our temperatures climb up into the 70s by the noon hour on our way up to a high of 76, again, with the threat of rain at virtually any point throughout the entire day.